Throughout history, we've had a lot of big rivals ranging from USA vs Russia, Marvel vs DC and Karen vs Supermarket Managers. In this video, we're going to go over probably the biggest rivalry of them all and that's right, you guessed it, Palace vs Supreme. Before we get into today's video, please leave a like, a comment and also subscribe and if you do like this type of videos, I've got a whole catalogue of this content on my channel so please be sure to uh, check that out after this video and without further ado, let's get into today's video. So to begin with, I'm going to do a quick overview of both brands. Uh, I'm not going to go in detail too, too much. Um, I'll probably leave that for a later video, like a, a history of Supreme and a history of uh, Palace. So to start things off, I'll do a quick overview of Supreme. Supreme was founded in 1994 by James Jebbia in New York. And the reason why he created Supreme was because in New York at the time, there wasn't like a skate shop that would sell like uh, skateboards and skate accessories. So um, he basically found like a gap in the market and just did what your typical businessman would do. So moving on to Palace, um, Palace was created in 2009 in London and was founded by Lev Tanju. I probably messed up the name on that, but we'll keep it moving. So the reason why he created Palace was because he was skateboarding like on a gap here with his uh, friends one summer and um, he wasn't really earning too too much money and um, yeah he just come up with an idea that he didn't want to be a loser anymore and just created palace and to be fair I wish I had sort of that mentality just to wake up one morning and just be like yo I'm not being the person who I was yesterday I'm actually going to do something with my life so respect to Lev Tanju sorry if I messed up your name oh, fuck you say to me you little shit so now that we've done the overview of both brands it's time to get into the actual verses so how I'm going to judge this verses is I'm going to break it down to five categories and whoever wins each category will get a point and whoever has the most points at the end is the definitive winner so for our first category we're going to be talking about the logos so to kick things off let's talk about the supreme logo the supreme logo is called a box logo for very good reasons because it is a box and it has the logo in it the supreme box logo is very eye-catching it's bright red it is also simple but yet again effective this logo is so recognizable like you've probably seen it on like a bus stop on the side of a lamp or on like a back of a car or something like you have probably seen this logo at least one time in your life this is probably supreme's best marketing strategy because what they do with every single sale that they make they will give the person two supreme box logo stickers this is such a very simple marketing strategy but very effective because people will put the sticker literally on anything and it's just helping the brand like grow even more and also i like the adaptations they do with the box logo it keeps things fresh and and also it makes fans excited on what they're going to release next so that was the supreme logo now we're going to be talking about the palace logo and i can't lie this logo is so unique and just a cool logo just all around it's literally so creative and like it looks like a work of art like that's how good this logo is this logo is so weird because like it is a 3d shape but you can't physically make that into a 3d shape however in terms of like adaptations of this logo like i feel like it's very underwhelming like i don't feel like they do the best of jobs of um adapting the logo to make it like better or just different like i feel like they i feel like they drop the ball on many occasions they do try to adapt this logo the fuck is that and also in terms of usage for this logo i feel like they use this logo way too much like it feels like every other item they just slap this logo on there i know it's a logo and i know Know, like most brands do do this but with like supreme like they'll only use a box logo for like five to ten percent of their items which in my opinion is like making it more like um exclusive but regardless this logo is still a heavy logo however as much as i do like this logo i am gonna have to give the point to supreme for this one just for the simple fact of how iconic it is and also what they've done in terms of marketing with this logo like i just feel like that just brings it over the top for me if we're just talking about the aesthetic of both logos i would give it to palace because that is a fucking nice logo but with all the variables included supreme does take the point for this one okay cool so moving on to the next category the next category we have is popularity obviously i am well aware that supreme is a bigger brand to palace but the way that I see it is Supreme is like McDonald's and then like Palace is like your local burger shop that is absolutely banging but like not many people know and like it isn't as popular as McDonald's. I would say Supreme is more mainstream streetwear and then like Palace sort of like embodies 
actual streetwear more like your average person will probably know what supreme is but they're probably not into streetwear per se but like people in streetwear would probably know palace and like i know people that are very into streetwear and they don't rock supreme just for the simple fact of like how mainstream it is if we're just talking overall popularity i would have to give the point to supreme without a doubt because obviously they are the bigger brand however when we're talking about the pacific niches in the brand obviously we're talking about streetwear i'd probably have to give the point to palace because they probably embody streetwear the most so with that being said i am going to give the point to palace but anyways moving on to our next category our next category is collaborations and a lot of you are thinking well supreme has won because supreme does a lot of collaborations but i'm not going to be judging this on how many collaborations i'm going to be judging this on the quality of collaborations because don't get it twisted supreme does do a lot of collaborations but i'd probably say 50 percent of them collaborations are just dog shit so yeah we'll see how this goes okay cool so i'm going to be talking about the palace collaborations first when it comes to palace collaborations they don't do many collaborations per season i'd probably say they do like four or five a season maybe even less but let's talk about one of the collaborations that they've consistently done collaborations with and the brand i'm talking about is adidas this is probably palace's most popular collaboration partner ever palace and adidas will probably do a collaboration at least once a year and their collaborations can range from casual wear to like more like sports i know they did like um, a tennis collaboration they did a juventus football team collaboration and they did like a golf collaboration that golf collaboration i'm very sorry yeah but that is fucking disgusting what but with that being said the palace and adidas collaborations are so iconic in like palaces come up Although they've had their fair share of slip ups in terms of collaborations with Adidas, they have had some good ones as well. My favourite item for their whole collaboration together is probably the dressing gown that they did, which in my opinion just slaps differently. Okay cool, moving on to a different brand that they've done a collaboration with and this is probably the biggest brand that they've done a collaboration with to this date. And the brand that I'm talking about is Ralph Lauren and i can't even lie this was such a well put together collaboration like literally like 70 percent to 90 percent of the pieces released in this collaboration are just bangers like i can't even express how good this collaboration is and in my eyes this is what made palace like a brand to be taken seriously because what other brand is doing a collaboration with ralph lauren like ralph lauren is you know the creme de la creme of like brands but it is a shame that they only did one collaboration like i do wish that they did do like a recurring collaboration together but regardless i am thankful that they did do this one collaboration palace has also done collaborations with other brands such as machino stella evisu and reebok I just want to touch on this collaboration just a little bit because I feel like this needs its own little segment but that Palace and Ivisu collaboration was out of this world like like that jacket was fucking fire like Ivisu back in the day like was a very big brand like they used to make jeans and stuff uh, they're not really as popular now but um, I do feel like Palace like doing the collaboration was just a massive boost for the brand and yeah it was just a very well done collaboration unexpected and yeah well done Palace okay cool so moving on to Supreme collaborations and I know what a lot of you are thinking like fuck me Supreme has got this and maybe maybe i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say yes but maybe in it so when it comes to collaborations supreme probably does 10 million a season like i'm not even joking like they do a lot but for the sake of this video i'm only going to be talking about the big collaborations that supreme has done okay cool so to start things off i'm going to be talking about supreme's probably biggest collaboration to this day actually scratch that the biggest collaboration of two brands ever and you've guessed it the collaboration i'm talking about is a louis vuitton supreme collaboration but quickly before i get into that um, i recently did a top five louis vuitton supreme uh, items video if you want to check that out just go to my channel and it should be there and uh, without further ado let's get back into it so in my opinion this is what made supreme a household name like this collaboration was so unexpected so big so iconic like literally they they blew out of the park with this collaboration and i can't lie this collaboration definitely lived up to the hype because the items on this was just as good as the marketing as just as good as like the collaboration itself like just crazy crazy collaboration 
and the reason why this collaboration was so big was because back in the day like not many uh, luxurious brands was doing collaborations with streetwear brands so this was a massive step for like the streetwear community as a whole and I can't even lie like they fully knocked out of the park with this collaboration so many iconic items just so many good pieces and yeah just all round heavy collaboration you can probably tell who's winning this category but we're going to keep it moving anyway okay cool moving on to supreme's second biggest collaboration and the brand that i'm talking about is north face the supreme and north face collaborations are just so iconic in like supreme's come up i think they've done like collaborations twice a season every single season since like 2015 or 16 but their first collaboration i believe was in 2007 don't quote me on that but i believe it was that early so a couple of highlight items from the supreme and north face collaborations the first one being the world map uh, jacket i think that is probably my most favorite item from the north face collaborations ever like that is just a crazy crazy jacket also the bandana print that they did like that just goes crazy probably the red or the blue one like are just hard like the black ones are right but not personally my favorite and uh, to top things off the by any means necessary collaboration that they did absolutely fire crazy 10 out of 10 however when it comes to the north face collaboration supreme is like a hit or miss i would probably say 50 percent of the time the items are good 50 percent of the times they're just shit like i'll show you some examples now So you get what I'm saying, like, you know, there are some good collaborations, there are some shit collaborations. It is it is a hit or miss, but regardless, still still like an iconic collaboration in the Supreme's history. Other big brands that Supreme has collaborated with are the names of CDG, Lacoste, Stone Island and Vans. There are many more, but I can't be bothered to name them all. But when it comes to who's winning this category, I am going to have to give it to Supreme just for the simple fact that the amount of collaborations that they've done, the quality of collaborations that they've done. And I'm sorry, like if you do a collaboration with Louis Vuitton, like there is no there is no comparison to that you could do 10 ralph loren collaborations it's still not going to top the supreme louis vuitton collaboration i'm very sorry but i am gonna have to give this point to supreme okay cool so the next category that i'm going to be talking about is the clothing category and yes i'm very well aware that this is very subjective because obviously everyone's taste in clothes are different but anyway i'm going to try and make sense of this all so just bear with me like I'd probably say Supreme caters towards everyone like it caters towards streetwear people sports people I think they've released some suits like literally Supreme caters towards everyone but when it comes to like Palace I'd probably say Palace stays sort of within their lane like streetwear like 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 they might experiment with other items like etc but I'd probably say that they are very within their own lane I would say Palace is more along the lines of streetwear and then like Supreme is more along the lines of like hyped clothing. When it comes to the design aspect, um, it's very hard to judge because these brands are so like, I wouldn't say different, but just unique in their own sense. But I will say this, when it comes to like the material and like the fit of the actual clothing, I would have to give the point to Palace because like I've had some Supreme items and like it, they've just been like, like it looks like it's just come out of a China like factory, like that's how bad it actually is. But that being said, I haven't had too many Palace items so I can't really do a fair comparison. But when it comes to like variety, Supreme does take the number one spot because they, they just cater towards everyone like I said so for that reason i'm probably gonna have to give the point to supreme so i was gonna do a last category for skateboards and accessories but after further thought uh, i'm not gonna do that just for the simple fact that palace don't really have the accessories to compete with supreme like they don't really do too many accessories and when they do do accessories like they're not really like that good like like they might, they might do a dog toy or a little like pin or something like like they don't really do the uh, accessories that supreme does so it just wouldn't be a fair contest 
and in terms of the skateboards like i'm not really a big fan of the skateboards that palace does like i just think they're all over the place and not really that aesthetic aesthetically pleasing so for that reason i'm just going to allow that category as a whole but if i was to judge that category supreme would wipe the floor with palace i do apologize but that's just straight facts so the scoreboard is looking 3-1 to supreme but if you do disagree with any of my statements in this video, please uh, leave it in down in the comment section and we'll have a discussion. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you did it all enjoy. And if you didn't already, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm out.